So welcome to Bunny's Designs. This is a live show with live people. It's live Thursday. It's recorded for Ustream.tv and also for YouTube for people to watch at their leisure. Um, I've had a bit of a, a spending spree in Ireland, shall we say. But I knew I would because I regretted last, last year. I didn't buy things and... And you can always think, oh, I wish I'd got this and I wish I'd got that. So I'd planned, I had a really good idea of what I wanted to do. Um, and I knew I'd find things that I wanted to, to, to kind of find. And also I bought things for the Abbey um, that um, they've taken a year to sell. But, you know, it, it, it's just little, little things that we don't have um, that they had in... Um, the shop in Bangor called the, um, I think it's called the Christian Faith Shop. They have them in Scotland, half a dozen, and they have half a dozen in, in, in Ireland. And um, it's a lovely shop. The ladies are lovely. And really, I mean, I really was, I, I took my little trolley and sat, um, my push along, um, and I sat for a good hour, traipsing through Bibles, thinking do I like this what don't I like about it and I really wanted to get the right one because I bought two before and I love them but there's there's this thing about I can't do things that I want to do because they're not me um, and I didn't understand what I was going through until I was listening to um, the frugal crafter Lindsay uh, last night in one of her videos I don't know if it's a modern one or a new one or an old one um, I guess it was four o'clock in the morning and she was saying about things that we'd love to do things that we think oh my goodness that's awesome I have to do that um, and deep down I know that I won't so it, it's a bit like Bible, Bible journaling and Bible um, study I love the fact of Bible study, um, but I, I don't like somebody else's designs. And I'm going through the same thing with colour books. I, I, I've gone back to, I want to colour my own colour books. I don't want to colour somebody else's. Um, and that's a bit of a shame because I have about, uh, I have about a six foot in length of colour books. Um, so I'm, I'm going to come out with a couple of new rules um, and I knew I was going to do this before I saw um, the Frugal Crafter. Um, I'm going to do two drastic things. I am going to delete my Amazon account. That doesn't mean to say I'll never buy anything from them. I'm just going to delete it because it's so easy at three in the morning to convince yourself you need something. I am also not going to buy any more colour books. It doesn't mean that I don't like them and I don't think they're awesome. I have, as I say, probably about eight foot maybe of colour books, if I put them all together. Um, there's about three foot on the, on the stair there. Um, and there's a couple of other, other shelves which are full as well. And Again, it's that thing that you see something and you think, oh, I want to colour that. I should be able to colour that and I know what colours I want to use. Um, and I buy it and I look at it and I go, why did I get this? It, it's, I like colouring in, but it, it's, it's kind of, I've kind of grown. Um, and it stems from a very bad experience I had when I did my degree five years, well, almost six years ago now. Um, I had two teachers that um, I felt, I, I heard them sniggering about me because I said I wanted to go into the drawing competition, for the Jarrow drawing competition. Um, and I've never been able to paint very well, but I always thought I could draw and I've always been told I could draw. And they, was, they were laughing behind my back. And as a 50 year old, I should have just said, Pleh. But I told my husband that if I ever picked up a paintbrush again, he had to break my fingers. And I couldn't pick a pencil for months. And I couldn't draw 
I got this degree, I got my fine art degree, and I didn't want to do anything. So I found um, some Bible journaling, and I found um, this is probably a way that I could probably do something. But I started colouring in the gorgeous books um, by, uh, my first one was the, my first one is here because it's not finished. And it's the only one that I never hesitated because I had this, my daughter's bought me um, this um, Colin Thompson design, which was actually um, a laptop. In the, in the bad old days of the big laptops, uh, we had laptop covers and, and they bought me the design for that. Um, so I didn't have any hesitation about buying this this colour book and that started me on a journey and I really enjoyed that because one of my doodles and one of my art shows was um, a five foot by five foot bookcase with books in it. So obviously that was right up my street. So that kind of um, led me to colour books. But I've just got to the stage where, and and as I said, Lindsay and the Fugal Crafter was talking about this, of saying, you know, I should want to finish all the books. I should love them. And I do, but I now want to colour my own books. I now want to colour my own designs. I now want to become an artist again, which I didn't want to do for quite a few years. Um, so I also find that spiritually... Um, I work as a volunteer at Selby Abbey um, on quiet days because I'm, I'm quite poor led. I, I don't do very much and I apologise for that. The other ladies have to carry me quite a lot. Um, but it has made me um, do things that I thought I couldn't do anymore. The same with the trips to Ireland. Um, we have two trips a year. We go to Dublin to do a model railway show and we also do go to Northern Ireland to a place called Bangor, um, which is a coastal um, a coastal um, town, um, and I absolutely love it. And in this town is uh, the Christian Faith Shop. And as I say, the ladies are lovely, they have time to talk about anything. Um, they have a real good supply of different different types of Bible and also the different versions of the Bible. Um, now up the steps at the back there's thousands of books about anybody that's ever written or drawn or created a book or a pamphlet about faith is in there, Christian faith. Um, but I can't get up the steps and I've, I don't think I've ever been in the back. So I've managed this huge hall from just the front of the shop, which had the uh, beautiful um, colour books, spiritual colour books. Um, they had some washi tape. Um, they had some really inspirational Bibles. Um, and in England, I don't think we've quite got into this Bible journaling and drawing and, and, and painting on the word of God in, in the Bible uh, and as a child I can imagine I can remember that it you know you were taught never to even crease a page never mind scribble all over it so again this is another thing that I was thinking about that I want to do this but I was approaching it the wrong way I, there's no way I can daub color all over the pages I don't want to do that so I found the Illustrated Words of Jesus for Women, and it's a daily devotional. And I don't do diaries, and I don't do things every single day. But it's something that will keep me kind of... I might do two one day, and I might not do one for a day. Um, although it will be a contemplation. It will be um, a thoughtful time. Um, but... I would like to think I was going to do it every day um, and I might try and do a short video of the process uh, but one thing I do find slightly difficult is I love colouring and I love uh, spiritual colouring um, but I don't like I think prayer and 
and and when you're when you're in that zone it's it's a bit of a private personal time and I don't think I mind sharing it when I've done it but I think at the moment I'm doing it um, I'm a kind of a bit of a butterfly I'm either creating or I'm reading or I'm studying um, and I, I find it difficult to do all three at the same time so I think this could be fine for um, for not not frivolous that's the wrong word for for a daily um, public kind of kind of work um, but I think my Bible journaling might be uh, a speeded up version because I will be doing all my own designs and because I'm doing my own designs I, I would like to encourage other people to do that but obviously the the spiritual side of it I don't want to be throwing it all out on YouTube and again, that's just a personal thing. So I thought this would be quite good to kind of ease me into this. So while I was away, I had, a, and it's gonna flash out guys, sorry. I had a bit of a play with some very soft watercolors. Now, I've only just recently got these um, particular watercolors and I wasn't sure how they would go. So I bought my favorite six, which were Lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, um, cadmium red, Elysian crimson, and they didn't have my favourite ultramarine, which I always like, but they had dioxidine purple, violet rather, um, and they did have the cerulean blue. Now, if you if you mix half dioxidine violet and half cerulean blue, you will get not a true ultramarine but you will get a purple blue and that's what we want the purple blues make the best purples now we happen to have the purple here but that is a secondary color um, and I bought these six and I was I was playing with them and I was using them and I was practicing with the colors and I was having a good play with my my favorite six and then I saw a box and the box of 12, which has uh, Prussian blue, um, sap green, I think that's hooker's green, yellow ochre, burnt umber and black. Now, in Victorian times and in the, the early stages of Winsor Newton, these were what the traditional artists used. These colours are the best colours because from those you can go and mix any others but you can still have a really nice um, painting with these colors so I bought the set and the set was probably the same price from Cassart as six <laughs> so I bought the 12 now the six I'm going to give to my 20 year old because she's at university doing illustration and animation and she loves watercoloring um, so I will give her those because it's a different marker. So I did take these six with me, uh, these twelve with me, um, and I took a little plastic. And one of these little plastic. I've had them for years. I bought them for fifty p. Um, but it's not rigid. The, there's one from Karen Dash that's rigid. This one is smooth, or supposed to be smooth. It's a bit scratched. Um, and you can see the colours that I used. I just scribbled three or four little little lines. I put the top back on and let them dry. But that colour is still there. It's a watercolour. But I didn't know how strong they were. They're very, they're very well pigmented and they're very strong. So I wanted to test them out for Bible journaling and for Bible colouring. Um, and the only time is because I went over something, the butterfly, three times. There's a little bit of bleed through. But the first page I did, again, it was the, I did it twice. So you can get some beautiful soft effects because you, you're putting the colour on here first. You wouldn't want to put the colour on here because that would go through because they're very, very strong, they're very pigmented. Um, but I love the fact we can get some beautiful, soft watercolour effects with, um, I think I used my Winsor & Newton brush. 
I think. Um, because I want it to be simple, I don't want to have to get lots of brushes out. So again, I'm trying to make something as simple as possible so that I won't feel guilty and I'll want to do it and it's easy for me to do. If you put lots of obstacles in your way, it's any excuse not to do it kind of thing. So I'm trying my very best. Um, and I don't know if it's the same artist, but I think it probably is, that we have some of these and I didn't like them. I don't like the words, I didn't like the illustrations, but this one I kind of liked, The Garland of Grace. Um, and it's by Christian Art Publishers and I really like this one so again it's another thing that you can colour while you're having that special private moment um, and you're also practising not going through not as thin as the other pages though so that was my two and I haven't opened these but let's open this one this was 20 cards to colour um, so I'll get rid of those because this is going to lead on to the next thing is um, I'm going to try to get a class going in, in the Abbey in the Selby Abbey um, we need a new roof <laughs> we need a new roof um, but I thought these would be quite handy if somebody wants to come and colour they can either colour an ordinary colour book or they can colour a page in um, in a spiritual book or these are kind of smaller things to kind of ease yourself in um, and that led to I think I've got four So I bought some Image of Grace postcards by Jackie Grace and there's 10 different designs and I thought these would be quite good for people to colour in a small way, to start small. Um, I bought some stickers but that's to go into that one. And these were creative expressions of faith um, and there's four different ones and some of the colours I love and these are bookmarks. And there's four different ones. So I, again, I thought there's five in each one. And I thought, again, this is another thing that somebody might want to come that's not coloured anything before. And starting a big page or something that's more intricate might be a bit too daunting. So I thought for the first lesson, what we'd do is just have a chill, have a natter and colour a bookmark. And then they can either put it in an ordinary book or put it in the Bible. Um... This one, I don't know if I have, a, I have a, I just bought a, another purchase from the, the Model Railway Show is they always have good car, scar, knives and scalpels. <laughs> so you have to be careful with this because technically it's a scalpel blade. Um, so you always put that down. And then if you're going to slip, it's going to slip down there. And then you must put the lid on and put it away before you do anything else. There's no point having it in your knife, because uh, I've done that before. I've held it in my hand and I've done something and stabbed myself. Now, luckily, I didn't do it very, very deeply. So um, so that was $4.99. Um, and there's 20 cards. So I've, I've not even looked at these, but... Um, Today is going to be a great day. So I thought, again, if somebody didn't want to do something too big, these would be kind of something that they can take away, but they've coloured and it's not going to be too stressful. Um, because let's face it, as much as we love Kirby Roseanne, if you were just given them one of those and you'd never coloured before, you might want to run away and hide. Whereas if you had a smaller, a smaller, um, colouring page that might be better so we have bookmarks we have postcards and then we have um, they're slightly bigger postcards and then I spotted these gorgeous little box 
boxes of goodies and it says 44 exquisite designed cards to colour with inspirational scripture verses from the book of Psalms 44 delightful cards to colour and share God's love, peace and joy Colourful messages to bless the heart, soothe the soul and calm the mind. And this one is the same with scripture from Proverbs uh, to inspire and bless. And again, I've not opened these, but again, I thought these were another little si size that would be kind of... Um, wouldn't be frightened to start if you gave one of these and picked up a few pencils. Um, it wouldn't be too daunting. So these would be for my art therapy in the Abbey, uh, which is a little class that I'm starting. Oh, thank you, Melody. Thank you. Um, and they, they, they're small, but they're not kind of um, too overwhelming, I don't think. So that would, you know, some people might want to suddenly pick up a large page or some people might want to think um, they may not want to do that so there's a there's a bit of a choice there for people um, and I think that's important I don't think you should I should walk in there and say right now you're going to pick up this and you're going to you're going to colour that first and then you're going to colour a bit bigger one and then when you can do that you can do a bit bigger one because I don't think that's ha helpful to anybody I think people need to walk into a room and think oh I like that design uh, or I'm a bit too nervous I don't want to do a big page I might just do a bookmark to start or they might think oh I've just lost my bookmark I'd like a new one so there's all sorts of things that are going to go through people's minds and the idea of art in the abbey is that it's peaceful it's exactly what it says on the tin it wants to inspire and bless soothe the soul and calm the mind and bless the heart and if i can do that then i'm going to be a happy girl so those purchases were for that coloring that reason um, i will be coloring those um on my channel which again um, I can't beat myself up about, but I have neglected, which is Bunny's Bible Designs. Um, so, those particular videos will probably not be on this channel, they'll be on my other channel. Um, so, that was those. Then we found some stickers. So, of course, the stickers and the washi tape, that lends itself to the of the Bible journaling so the other little thing I had sorry about this guys I had so many things because I've bought lots and lots and lots of things um, I thought these would be quite nice to actually we don't have these in the Abbey now I bought some last year um, so I decided to go mad and buy 10 because it has taken a year for them to, to go. Um, but I found these little magnets. Uh, they're going in there. Um, I bought these for friends and for a young lady um, that I'm going to see soon. So I bought this one. Let your light shine. Do all things in love. Don't worry, just take one step at a time. The Lord will guide you always and live a life of love and I really like those so they've got these little metal catches on them that says love on them so I bought those for little prezzies just for little presents um, they also had lots of these cards which I bought because I thought they would um, they would be quite a nice thing to buy so that the Abbey can sell them. But obviously, there's I think there's there was, must have been about a hundred little racks. And they, they said, I said a prayer for you today, uh, Our Father, the Lord's Prayer there. Uh, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Uh, and I think I'm going to put that there because I think I need that. 
desperately. Oh, uh, and this is mine. Except for Thursdays. Help me, Lord, to talk less and listen more. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Um, I think I need that one as well because I'm a bit of a gas battle, I think. Um, when you need help, ask God. When you don't, thank God. Um, amazing Grace. Um, the Blessing of Beauty. And I love this one. You are one of a kind. Thank you for being you. Um, I thought we wanted some kind of girly ones and some grown-up ones and some spiritual ones. So again, that's something else that we're going to have a look at and uh, hopefully we'll sell in the little shop, in the, um, in, the, in the shop. The other thing I bought for the shop were these bookmarks um, and they range from 179 to 250 um, Again, there's the footprints. There's the Ten Commandments because um, it's not actually re remembering them. It's remembering them in the order that they are, even though they're all equally important. Uh, you are a blessing. I thought that was quite nice. Now, I bought this one last year and they've all gone. So cast your anxiety on God because he cares for you. Um, the Lord's Prayer. Um I like that, that one. I've got some spiritual ones and some more modern ones. And then we've got a couple of You Are Special and some more, more for children or for young adults. Um, and I kind of like those because, and they've gone the most actually. So people have bought them from little bookmarks. Um, so there should be 10, two, four, six. Yep, yeah, there's 10. Um, and there's 10 in each. So that should be quite a nice little um, something just small for somebody to pick up when they're in the abbey we do have our own bookmarks and things but if it's just something a little bit different I've kept my washi tape that I bought from the pouch uh, from the the works because I thought that would be a nice little pouch and I'm going to put it into there in a second um, I'm going to slide that over there slightly and then I found some washi tape, creative by design, eight rolls of washi tape. Um, and some of them I like, but the one I wanted at the bottom was um, the tiny one at the bottom. And it says, grow with grace, live in love and walk by faith. And I really like that, so I was tempted to buy that one. And then we had the paler ones. I thought they were actually in there, but they're not, so I'm quite pleased. Um, and I do have about six rolls of washi tape. I don't think I have ten, but I'm going to do um, a studio, ch studio tour, so um, we might find one or two. But I know I probably don't have more than ten washi tapes. And so I thought, OK, I think I need to be a bit of a washi tape queen. Although I really want to make my own. Uh, and I will be making my own when I do my t to match the Bible journaling and the Bible study. But if I was doing something else in another book, I will use these. But I think um, I have another journal which I have neglected, which I'm going to go into. And these will be used for those. So things that are stickers, these are not my creative bunny designs. They will be going in the other, um, the other journaling Bible. Uh, this particular one I'm going to come to is going to be just for all my designs. Um, because I say I've come to the conclusion and I've come to the part in my life now where I want to be creative for myself. I found these gorgeous sticker, uh, sticky prayers, sticker prayer anywhere <laughs> uh, and I hadn't realised how pretty they were actually. There's brave hope and grace. I thought they were really pretty. I'm sorry about the, wa the washout. And then they have uh, inspiration on the back so they're very pretty though. Um, and again, I think they will be for an idea for a book instead of me having to scribble it somewhere else. Um, and again, I want to come to that. The next video is how many notebooks I have. And, and, and I know it doesn't work for me. So this particular one is going to have to go there. 
So here we have um, colouring stickers and I actually think I'm going to photocopy these uh, and blow them up so that um, whoever comes to the group, if they want to start journaling and Bible journaling and Bible colouring, then they can use these. I mean, they're not for personal use, they're all free. Uh, it's just to give people a bit of an inspiration to use them um, and to colour with them. So that again is going to be for my um, my my journaling class. And then I bought this because I thought it would be. It says it's thirty five dollar value. Um, I wanted to have something that was, these things I've kind of put together myself, but this is kind of like a kit. Um, and I'd never done it before, so I thought, you know, what do people use? So it says four sheets of word stickers, four sheets of alphabet stickers, 24 tab stickers, eight color pencil twists, one journaling pen, one pouch with adjustable strap, and a ruler page for protector mat with tracing lines. And actually, I wanted one of those and I'd forgotten all about them. So, on the back, this is what we have. Um, and it was a bit more than I probably would spend normally, but it doesn't matter because this is going to be a really important part of my life. And I'm going to, I don't want to set myself up with making things as I go along, which I normally do. I want to be able to kind of, um, to kind of get on with it and, and kind of do it rather than think about doing it and rather about creating it. I want to kind of just, just do it. Just get in there and do it. And so I thought this would kind of really set me on the way. And then with the washi tape and the stickers, things, other things will, I, no, I might think, well, actually, um, I found that prayer there that I like. So I'm going to, I'm going to draw that. I'm going to write it out myself. Um, and so I can add to it that this is to get me going. So let's have a bit of a look in here. And you didn't have to buy things like that. I found my other things. Um, I did love this because I haven't got one. So it has three... Um, actually, it's better if I don't do that. You've got three different designs across. Uh, and the ruler. But it is a protector page. And now I'm going to come to that in a second. One is it doesn't go in here. But that's fine. Oops. So in our little box which I'm going to keep, I think I'm going to keep that plastic because it seems to be a good size. And I might actually put it in water then it'll, it'll bring off that. So I'm going to keep that. I don't know if I want the box or not, but I definitely want the plastic. So, not quite sure if I'll use the pencils, but you should never say never. Um, this just looks like a plain, like a micron pen, um, and there's a little piece of card there which might come in handy. I do like cards and things. I try not to. I try to reuse them. So there's the alphabet stickers. Oh, I find it difficult to open things so. They're just ordinary stickies. They look quite nice though. They're kind of a, a traditional set. And then there's some... I think they may be all different. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, dear. I have terrible things opening packets. Oh, hi, Suzanne. Welcome to Bunny's Designs. Anybody else popping in? Yes, that was a nice, yes, that's Suzanne, I will do. I think that might be the, one of the last ones. Yep. Yeah. Oh, they're all different. So that's, they're all different, these, so they're really, really nice. Sorry about the, I've got a new set of, um,
yes i will i will do that suzanne so the thursday there will be there will be a bible journaling um or coloring um but um I've, I've really neglected that and i've been a bit kind of i lost my confidence and it's taken a while but i think it's nearly back now so that's let's see if these are the same unfortunately my thumbs don't work very well oh so we've got um you've got four uppercase and lowercase that are different so that's quite nice So that again, I wouldn't have, um, I do have some, I, I have a lot of rub-ons as well. So I, my mind was going that, you know, somewhere in the caravan, there are a lot of things that I can use. Um, and we, oh, um, the lurcher has uh, stolen Alfie's spot. Um, and one of the reasons my hands aren't very well, uh, and they probably won't work well for a few days, now these are little tabs these so uh, we've got promise favorite um the the videos will probably be up on my bible journaling i think it's called bunny's bible designs um and i have one video up so there shall be this there shall be a few more videos hopefully because I'm neglecting that. I'm also neglecting Alfie's. Um, Alfie has his own website, uh, his own YouTube channel, and he only has one video. And I, do, I don't think he has a subscriber yet. <laughs> so I found this in the pound shop in Bangor, Northern Ireland. And I thought, yes, looks like Alfie. Um, until my daughter was talking about buying some clippers. And she said, we have to buy them. We have to buy them. And I'm going, oh, da, da, da. and she said, we have to buy them. Oh, so we've got a nice green pouch. In fact, I think Samantha would like that. Whatever is lovely, think about such things. So that goes in there. And I presume the other things go in there as well. Um, and I'm... I'm thinking, oh, it's a nice zip. I'm thinking that obviously a couple of washi tapes will go in there. Um, but the idea is that this will, I can't do it because you've got to un, oh, it's not too bad actually. Uh, this will be quite good because you can do that. And any time you can do that, you've got to be happy <laughs> so so we've got we've got our washi we've got our stickers and we've got our lovely little pouch which I actually quite like that um, I also bought these lavender foil because it was purple now I wouldn't have chosen purple and I don't like this I will be covering this with my designs and my design is um, the floral one. Um, but I, I like the idea of this. Now I was going to, I took this apart and I was going to do this. Um, I did have a couple of hours, oh, sorry, I had an hour. And I thought, oh, I'm going to do this. And when I took them out, and it's I, they had so many, again, we, we need to start using these a bit better and um, there's a ruler and you're supposed to measure it uh, to, to find out where you're going to put your stickers um, but of course me being me oh I did a little bit um, that's my design that floral one I did when I was 16 um, so um, I designed it when I was at college quite a, quite a few years ago so what you have to do now this particular Bible this one is um, it's the New International Version, a single column journaling Bible with unlined margins. Because I bought this one from Selby Abbey and I love it. And it's a good idea if you start with the New International Version, 
it's a lot easier to have everything coherent. So um, now I actually, um, and I've, I started in here with my design. I made this and I was looking for the other side of it because I kept it. I, I cut it special and I rounded the edges. Um, and the idea is, um, I think I've, I've ironed as well. If you, if you, as long as it's not too hot, a travel iron. I've ironed. There's a video with me ironing my Bible pages. Um, but I was testing out all sorts of things on this page. Um, but it's lined. Is this particular one? It has the lines, uh, the dotted lines. So actually, this one needs to be. A journal, a study Bible. Um, but one thing I did is a uh, tight Yorkshire lass thought I'm not going to buy these um, name tags uh, for the books of the Bible. I'm going to make them. And the reason is, oh hi King Gore, welcome to Bunny's Designs. I didn't want them to be permanent. So I managed to get hold of quite a few of these for a pound. Uh, and I cut them up and I've stuck them in but I've stuck them in with the um, and I didn't watch how to do this I I did I made this up um, I've used the actual sticky on here so it's not too aggressive and it will come off if I want um, the writing, uh, uh, the writing is a bit kind of uneven, and I don't know why I went to pink. I've just looked and thought, why did I do that? But maybe I didn't actually have these with me at the time. So I wanted one with wide margins, so I can I can do my designs, and and I can um, be creative in this Bible. So this is more for study and this is for creating. So probably you'll see more of this one than you will this one. So I need to cover that because the, the one that didn't have anything on the front wasn't purple. Um, so this is a, a beautiful... I can take that off now. Um, oh, my desk must be dirty. And I love the colour, and of course, it actually goes with the mint. So, I need to put these into here. So, I'll do a, a, um, a video of how I do it because the way it shows you, they're in the middle of the of, of the Bible and, and the, the kind of in the middle and, and I don't want them there I want them to be only just visible and I want them to be where I want them to be so I've already recreased it where <laughs> I want it and I, I thought well this is boring there's lots and lots of videos of how to put these in uh, these uh, placement guides but they're not where I want to put them um, so I thought I would do it my way. So then one of the next videos will be me putting my beautiful lilac um, place gu placement guides. Uh, sorry, um, I forgot what they're called. Bible tabs. Um, but I will put them where I want them to go. Now they had gold, they had silver, they had modern designs. Um, I probably will do one of my my bunny designs um, when I start to kind of be a bit more creative um, and, and do my own tabs f for when I have uh, my spiritual um, readings um, and my inspiration. But I just thought that um, that would work quite well. Um, so that is my journal but, but the problem I have with it is carrying it. And so I found um, it's a washing basket, but it's lavender. Um, and it's one of my favourites. And it actually sits in here quite nicely. Because I, I actually dropped this book. 
I couldn't decide which one I wanted and I dropped it and I damaged the corner uh, so I bought it because I thought well, it was a sign from God to buy that one um, and actually it sits quite nicely in there so as long as I have some kind of a a hook mechanism uh, so that I can use my little fingers then that's going to be quite nice and you'll probably find I'm going to find that I can get quite a lot of things in here as well um, which is also going to be quite nice so very quickly and lastly and I almost bought I, I took 20 minutes to try and get this one into a Bible a Bible case and they had the most beautiful Bible cases with pockets, they had pink ones, they had purple ones um, and they had a lovely one called Grace which I loved but it was, it was a tangerine but I spent almost half an hour trying to get this one I got it in because you slide it in the back covers um, and it wouldn't zip up I couldn't get it to zip and so I thought I love it but it would be useless to me because I can't, I can't physically do it because my hands were bad um, and then I came home and found that and I thought well actually I like that one better so sometimes you've got some really nice things at home you don't have to buy things um, I really wouldn't have uh, bought the little green pouch because we have that little red pouch that we use I can find one really quickly um, um, and, it, and this will go in here as well I think this one is a little bit bigger um, but you can get lots more things in it this is one of those travellers refresh um, and they have the little aeroplane on here so there's always things you could use um, and this has got a really good zip as well um, it, you don't have to buy something uh, and as I say I found this at a charity shop and I thought that would go over the Bible but actually I think I like that system but this is still going to be handy because sometimes when I'm holding I drop things so anything that's kind of got a handle and it isn't too heavy and it has a good quality zip I'm kind of okay with so again you don't want to put things in the way of getting on with being creative and 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 reaching out and and doing your Bible study um, so that came to this wonderful thing here um, and it won't go in my new one it's too big oh, sorry I just have a bit of a trouble with that let me just pop those out because they will get mixed up and so this one won't go in here it's just that little bit too big but I'm pretty sure it will go in this one So it will go in that one. I wonder if it will go in here. That's my Bible study. Yeah. Oh, I'm a happy girl. It'll go in there. Quite a happy girl. So this has become my little Bible study um, bag. So it will go in there. But the other thing I was going to do with this is I was going to cut it down. But I have another one. I have another one of these. It's actually a plastic file folder. Um, just an ordinary file folder. Um, I do have these lovely little magnets here. Um, which I bought last year. Oh, my hands are just really bad. And the reason my hands are bad, though, because we've been away and I've... I've been using my walking stick and I don't use the walking stick very often. Um, one of the other thing I thought was this is that little um, Helix flowchart which I used for my um, for creating designs 
again when I was really poorly and I didn't want to draw I, I just made some designs and then I coloured them in and I made a fake Hobonichi well that will go in here so you can you can have shapes if you want them um, that can go in there as well so I think I'm going to have some quite good times with that and there will be videos of that um, and lastly because it's it's wonderful but I don't I don't feel it will go with me everywhere I was looking for a smaller one um, and I did find a thinner one this is a quilted collection um, it's the NIV and it's strawberry cream um, it was the only one they had actually and it was 19.99 now the one I, I liked I thought I liked better was 29.99 um, but actually I like this one because it's quite nice to hold if you've got poorly hands and you can't grip but the lovely thing is it lays flat so this will go everywhere with me and I can be inspired and read I'm not sure if I will if I will draw on here or if I will pencil in a certain word haven't quite decided um, I'm very funny about drawing on Bibles um, this is a, 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 a over the words can't do that and I know I can't do that and it doesn't matter how many beautiful pages I see you probably and I should never say never you probably never see me deliberately blank out words that you cannot read I may try and do a slight tiny pale watercolor wash over but I don't think in my heart of hearts I can ever completely block out words and scribble over them or paint over them or de delete them because I really don't think I can I think it's an old woman thing but just can't um, but I did find these little page markers there's grace blessed believe trust hope and faith um, and again I really like these and I thought they were small enough and not to add too much weight so this will probably go everywhere with me um, and so that when I'm at the Abbey and I've got five minutes, I can, I can, I can, it's, it's, it's just tactile and it's bendable as well. So it really doesn't hurt your hands. Um, I love that one, but picking that one up, even underneath the pressure is not nice. So I've got my, my bookmarks into here. And so this is kind of going to be my the reading Bible, the one that I kind of will be reading as Bible study. I have my creative side um, where I can kind of really study as well, but be creative. Um, and then I do have another one that I was going to work through is the woman's um, Bible journal. And it's slightly different. It, it kind of it's more geared towards women and when you start to read the Bible in its original form it's it's not it, I, it, I don't find it so but this other one this devotional women's Bible uh, is quite is quite good because it's for a modern woman as well um, so it's inspired me to to think about the family and the house and the home more than I've ever done before Yeah, Suzanne says it's respect for the yes for God's work. Yeah, I mean I, I've seen these most beautiful pages, but I have I have a secret weapon, and my secret weapon is not vellum because I'm a tight Yorkshire lass. My secret weapon is tracing paper, and tracing paper behaves. Oh, and I found one the other day, very similar. Tracing paper behaves very, very similar. Um, and I did buy, get all my inspirational books out. Um, 
I did buy this last year and again this is what's inspired me this is the woman's study bible and it's inspired me to, to carry on if that is the right word but I thought I'd, and I made the cover from I found an Irish uh, lace um, and it's the um, anti macaster it's um, a cloth we used to put over the back of chairs because in years gone by gentlemen used to use bra cream on their hair which would ruin the high back chairs and sofas um, and I love this so I folded it and I just very neatly sewed it together at either side um, it doesn't work brilliantly because I didn't want to cut it so I have a bit of a crease here but it stays on and it works and I really like it and again it's difficult to pick up um, so I've got quite a lot of things to to keep me kind of in, in, in uh, and kind of boost my spiritual journey because I felt a bit guilty that it hasn't had its kind of big boost which it should have <laughs> if that makes any sense and again when you go to Ireland and and um, and you are inspired um, it's quite nice to kind of you've got to strike where the iron's hot so all these things will be uh, appearing in my uh, on my uh, my YouTube channel Bunny's Bibles Designs um, and there's a crossover with, for all sorts of reasons because people who are disabled need to colour easily so there'll be easy water colouring everything will be soft and easy um, the only time that I probably get messy is to use um, tracing paper or the other paper I use uh, and I made my Midori's, my fake Hobonichi's out of it is uh, layout paper um, and that's very very thin but you can use markers on it and you can be very very strong with it uh, and tracing paper is good as well uh, don't think I want to to buy vellum I'm a bit of a um, a bit of a, a stick in the mud cheap tracing paper and my layout paper is even thinner than tracing paper layout paper is as thin as Bible paper the Bible pages so again if you can if you can practice watercoloring and coloring on uh, layout paper and it was for graphic designers years ago we would do thousands of layouts um, and lay them on top of each other it, th there is one that's slightly thicker which is called marker paper and that one is you can use markers and they won't bleed through now layout paper markers will go through uh, but certainly um, a lot of colours and I'll use that for my first my introductory video of actual papers to use in the Bible that will take a lot of batting and then you can actually put them inside and you're not touching or kind of really really destroying a page in the Bible so that was my uh, I'd like to call it a mini haul but um, I don't think <laughs> in any stretch of the imagination you can call that a mini haul but that was my uh, my spiritual haul um, from a beautiful shop in Ireland um, that's one of my favorite shops in the world thank you for watching <laughs>